Lionsgate Club Lounge. Hey, it's Vincent. I'm calling on behalf of the McDonald family. Are you calling about the shipment? I can get you Mr. Hackle's private line. No, 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 no. Mr. McDonald just needs to know about that. This one's more personal. I need you to book the lounge three weeks from Saturday. Let's see. Three weeks from then... No, sorry. The venue's been booked by the Wanell family for Lee's 40th birthday. Aw, oh, come on. My boss really needs this. It's for his nephew's wedding reception. You know how tense these weddings are. Mrs. McDonald doesn't want to take a risk with an outdoor reception with the way the weather has been, so we really need the nightclub. That's not my problem. Okay, look, let's just swap venues, all right? Tell the one else it won't cost anything in return. I really need this venue. You don't have to say why, just tell Mr. Hackle this is a better offer. Let me put you on hold and I'll see what he says. Oh, I'm taking care of it now, sir. He just put me on hold. Give me the phone. Yes, sir, Mr. McDonald. Okay, looks like the deal's still off. Sorry. Zachary, how are you doing, son? Oh, uh, hello, Mr. McDonald. How's the wife and two kids? Crystal and Kenzie, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, they're, they're doing just fine. Glad to hear it. Uh, look, let's not make a big deal about this. Just tell the one else that we need the venue that day. I'm sure they'll understand. I'll let Mr. Hackle know you personally asked for the venue right away. Oh, and your shipment came in weeks ago. Mr. Hackle has been waiting for you and your crew to come by and pick it up. My shipment? Yes, sir. I've called your office personally three times over the last week. Vincent was the only one who took my calls. Really? Is that so? Yes, sir. You wouldn't lie to me now, would you, Zachary? No, sir. Because I would hate to have to tell your precious girls in person that their daddy is a liar. No, sir. Could you please let me put you on hold real quick? I'll talk to Mr. Hackle. Thank you. <sighs> Vincent, you disappoint me. Oh, no, sir, I, I... Just give me a chance to explain now. I, I, I'm afraid I no longer require your services. What? Jonathan... Uh, could you please escort Mr. Verhai out the back door? The back door? But, sir, you don't have a back... Oh, no. Oh, please, Johnny. No, let go of me. Mr. McDonald, please, no! I'm sorry! Johnny, no, no, Johnny! No, no, no! Jonathan... Tell the Spirig brothers that our mole problem has been taken care of. I expect their full cooperation before I retire in a couple weeks. And tell my boy to help you clean up the mess outside. Let this be a lesson for him to hire the right people next time. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. McDonald, I've got great news. Mr. Hackle agreed, and the venue will be ready for you that weekend. Terrific. Thank you, Zachary. You're welcome, sir. The only thing he asks is that you bring in your own film crew for the reception. Ours are booked with the 1L family. Not a problem. I'll find someone for that, don't you worry. And tell David I'll have my crew come by first thing in the morning to pick up that shipment. If there's anything left of it. Will do. Thank you, Mr. McDonald. Have a good night.